Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Um, today, I wanted to work on my truck a little bit. I bought me a new steering wheel for it. And uh, as you can see, my interior was appropriate for Christmas, but I'm uh, actually at a point where I'm ready to start updating some of the interior, meaning recovering bench seat. Um, while I'm doing that, pull the carpet and I'm gonna dye it black. Um, and then the bench sheet's also going to be black, so we have kind of a matching theme in here for once. And uh, steering wheel's over there. Let me show you. Um, it's actually a pretty nice one. But it's a wood-handled one I got off of eBay with a chrome button in the middle. So this right here is the button that goes in the middle. And here's the steering wheel. So I'm going to install that today and uh, replace my cracked up one with the horn button not working on it. Okay, so the first thing I did, I'm going to do disconnect the battery. And as you can see, my posts are pretty corroded right now. So before I put everything back together, I'm going to go ahead and clean those off. So let's get back to the steering column. Alrighty, so the first thing I did is I took the two screws. There's one over here, one over here that you have to thread out from the back side. Um, pull this off, and these two wires are going to be connected in here. So this one's your power, and then over here it just jams into there, and it's uh, your ground. So the next step is to get this nut off, and then these threaded holes right here you're going to use your steering wheel steering wheel puller on i believe so i'm going to get on that all right so i got my socket on here and it's a 15 16 nut so i'm going to zip that off right quick okay so i zip that nut off with the impact right quick and so before i take the steering wheel off i want to get it straight and make a little mark on this stud just to make sure i get my uh my new steering wheel on there correctly so all right i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna set up my steering wheel puller okay so i got my steering wheel puller set up i just got to find the right size uh, socket for this end i'm gonna use my impact to zip it out um so this uh steering wheel puller i'm pretty sure i got off of amazon for like 12 15 dollars and i've used it multiple times i've used it for um harmonic it doubles as a harmonic balancer puller um which is pretty handy so it's a it's a good little tool. I just bought a cheap, you know, whatever was cheap from China, and it's working fine. I haven't had any issues with it, so um, I'm going to go zip this thing off right quick. Alrighty, so the old steering wheel's off of here now, and this is what you're looking at. And uh, if you have any issues with your turn signals, now's the time to go ahead and change this turn signal switch. But mine worked fine, so I'm not going to mess with it. I might shoot some contact. Nah, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Um, so... This is what this part of this looks like. And now it's time to install the new one. Okay, so the next step is with your, um, the brand of the steering wheel I got, by the way, and I didn't realize this when I bought it. It is a pretty well-known brand, Forever Sharp. I just happened to buy it on eBay. Um, so they actually have an instructional video on YouTube, but they kind of, um, I don't know, they didn't go in quite as much detail as I would have preferred, but so it looks like from the written instructions which they send, which are really helpful, you need to position this thing so that um, in a way that so that your steering wheel will be able to mount up to it and it would be straight. So you got to line up this top mark, if I understand right. I got some more figuring to do. So you got to have it so that this pattern right here is oriented like this. So you could just bolt this on and your steering wheel itself will be straight. If that makes sense. So I'm going to work on that. Okay, so I've got my lines marked up, but I remember they tell you to put some grease on the um, contact. Some electrical friendly grease, which um, I'm surprised I didn't send a little tube of, but... I'll use some of this dielectric tune-up grease, which is good for spark plugs, so I figure it won't hurt the electrical contact on this thing. 
but I'm just going to use a sparing amount and rub it in with my finger and I guess this just helps the contact last longer alrighty so I got a little bit on there now I'm going to line up my marks okay so the next step is to slide this little cover on here okay so I just encountered a minor issue that y'all need to be uh, look out for while you're working on it make sure that your wire is routed so that it'll line up for the top of your steering wheel and it looks like to me that this hole right here is the one that's intended to route the wire so just make sure that lines up I'm gonna adjust this real quick okay so I got everything lined up and I got these three um, bolts that were provided with the kit started so that I made sure everything was lined up right and I just finger tightened them they're all the way threaded in it looks like because they got little shoulders on them um, but I haven't snugged uh, down on them yet I'm gonna go ahead and you tighten up the big nut and work to I guess uh, the next thing would be the horn button so yeah I'm gonna take care of this just snug all this stuff down first okay so this is how this goes on um, I had to take these little shoulder bolts off is what it's called in the uh, instructions is the shoulder bolts but so this little contact ring goes on in this orientation and then clips on to right here this wire clips onto it um, I need to put these bolts in this spring is going to go against this horn cap and then this horn cap goes on and twists on there so I guess I need to put it on like that and then twist it until it's tight um, so I'm gonna, this seems to be a little fiddly but I'm going to first put in these bolts and then do that Okay, so I got this thing installed, I think. Um, and she's on there. Looking good. Now, just, just I just put the battery back. Let's see if the horn works. That's spotty. Okay, guys, so I found the issue I was having. Um, I was pressing the button inside the cab, and then it was making a clicking sound under here. Um, found out is the horn relay over here on the on the uh, inner fender um, the one I had was super old and so I replaced it with a new one horn works fine also while I was at it you know cleaned up my grounds and everything that I could um, so let me show you how it works I'm really happy with the way this steering wheel looks in my truck but I've got everything put back together here so it works um, yeah, so it's a pretty easy installation once you kind of figure it out. And if you got a good horn relay, then you're good to go. But my my horn was working intermittently, which I thought was the old uh, horn button that's on there. I blamed it on that, but apparently my relay was having some issues too. So I got it working, so I'm happy. And I'm really happy with the way this thing looked. But it was, uh, I think it was a good a good deal for this, this uh, steering wheel because I wanted my horn to work and I was looking at just replacing the horn button but that was a hundred dollars I believe is what I saw and I was like well if I do that then I'll still have a cracked up steering wheel and so I was like how much is the whole assembly and that was only hundred and eighty dollars and I was really happy it's really nice uh, real wood uh, grip and it's got some notches back here for for grip and I just think it really looks nice. And uh, this is one of the first things I'm going to do to kind of get the interior cleaned up. But I'll, I'll show you guys my progress on that. But thanks for watching. This is how, you know, I wanted to kind of show you guys how this came together. So have a great day.